Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. In today's video, which I'm sure you've guessed from the title, is finally my Dyson Airwrap review and honest opinion on the Dyson Airwrap and creating curls and my opinion on creating long-lasting Airwrap curls with the Dyson Airwrap. And it's something that I've had for probably around three, four months now and it's taken me kind of that long to kind of get to grips with using it with my short hair and kind of finding tips and tricks to kind of keep those curls long lasting so I apologize that it's taken me this long to do this video but I did want to just it to be in, as informative as I could make it and I've been speaking to my dad who used to be an ex-hairdresser and he's kind of sat with me and given me as many tips as I can to creating the curls that last so I'm not going to sit and talk for ages I'm going to get straight into it and show you it so this is the box itself you have all the different tools and attachments and then the Dyson Air app itself and I basically recommend getting a few things to kind of work with the Dyson Air Wrap. One being a daily styling spray and a product that you can use pre using the Air Wrap that basically allows your curls to hold for longer. So you, John Free to do these, I think GHD do these. There's, they're everywhere in like Boots and Superdrug and that kind of thing. But I just find using a styling spray prior to doing the curls means they just last for so much longer. Another thing would be little grippy clips, which I will leave down below, but also another thing that I've noticed, um, for me personally with like short really really thick hair and a lot of hair is that they drop quite quickly unless I'm using a clip to kind of hold them while I'm doing the rest of my head and I always like them to hold for as long as possible to create that like really bouncy beachy wave and then I would recommend a really strong fix hairspray <laughs> and also a heat protector which I'm going to be using the GHD one and the GHD hairspray as well but obviously whatever hairspray works for you I really recommend the GHD final fix hairspray I think it's amazing there's also a Tresemme one in a white can which is like fix hold I think it is but that one is also amazing if you struggle with keeping your curls like holding in place for a long time so let's get to it I'm gonna basically before using this you have to have your hair around 70 to 80 percent dry so what I'm gonna do is just use the hair dryer attachment which is this one here and just blow dry my hair till it's about 70 percent dry and then I'm gonna section it so I won't talk while I'm blow drying it because it's not that fun. I'll do a little time lapse and then I'll see you once it's 70% dry. It's been years since I had a change. Always a watch out. Lighter to the gasoline. Oh, couldn't hold me. Now I'm living better days. Hot chick and a black COVID. Okay, so now my hair is about 70% dry. I'm just gonna section it with some hair bands. I have a lot of hair and I like to section my hair into four sections when I'm using the air wrap. I just find it easier. I actually section it into four sections when I use my GHD curlers as well because I basically alternate between my GHD curler and the air wrap because I find the air wrap works best when I wash my hair and I only wash my hair twice a week so I use the Dyson air wrap twice a week because I just find that when you've just washed your hair the hold is longer the curls look better I mean you can use the Dyson air wrap um waves when your hair is damp so you can use like a spray to make your hair damp but I just find for me personally it just doesn't work in the same way as the day that I've just washed my hair so that's something that I feel like would be different depending on like your hair type I just have so much hair and it just doesn't get damp enough for me to be able to do it so I just kind of save it for those days that I wash my hair so I'm going to be using the daily styling spray and I just spray this on the ends of my hair which just basically also like extra dampens the bottom of my hair and I find that this then just holds the curl so much better and then with the air wrap you have two different barrel sizes so you have the medium barrel and the small barrel and then you have the directions that they go in so you can create that direction of the curl that you wish to have I like to create my curls so they both go away from my face I find this creates like a really nice kind of like beachy wave look you could do like alternating waves so you do one that way and then one that way and like mix and match but obviously that would be a bit of a longer process 
process, I'm going to be using the smaller barrel. I originally started with using it with the medium barrel and I found that the smaller barrel on my hair works better personally because I find that my curls can drop quite quickly because my hair's quite heavy and using the smaller one just means you're creating that like tighter curl and wave and then it just allows it to drop really nicely throughout the day as well so I find this one works best for me so I'm going to be using this and starting on this side of my face going outwards and you can just disconnect the air wrap at the back there and slot them in like so and with the buttons on the air wrap i will mention you have a heat setting here you also have a cool down button setting this basically turns on the air wrap but also allows you to cool down the hair so the amazing thing about this is that you have that cooling down process which is that like key process to holding that curl is the cool down process so when i'm using it i use and blast the warm air as i've got it on the warmest setting here and then when i feel like the curl is in place i then blast around 30 seconds of cool air and that just allows it to fix and hold that curl in place so i will start with this section i am actually just for this video to show you all just so i don't lose where i'm going seeing as i'm not using a mirror right now i'm just going to tie up that little bit so that i don't get confused <laughs> with what part of the hair i'm using but i use like small sections around this big and spray that styling spray and then also the heat protector spray on my hair and then turn on the air wrap i like to use the air wrap and just hold it at the bottom of my hair to wrap up the hair in so i've got that heat on it at the moment and then I'm just going to hold it close to the root of my hair. This just like really elevates and makes that curl really, really tight, which then would mean the curl will last for longer. And then I'm going to blast now the cold air here. And it's just going to cool down that curl. And once I've done that, originally when I started using the air wrap, I would just pull the air wrap down and the curl would then hang to about here but one of the tips my dad taught me was to catch the curl before it's completely cooled down because although you've got that cooling process the curl isn't completely cooled down so to hold it and catch it and then get one of my clips and just quickly roll the curl down I'm just going to hold it here as you can see it's extremely tight but I'm then going to get the hairspray and hairspray that part of my hair, pull it down, and then I'm just gonna pin that section of the hair by just gripping with my index fingers and rolling that part of the hair under and clipping to my head like so. So I got the first curl down, and then I'm just gonna do that to the next section. So getting like, a medium size amount obviously it completely depends if you want the curls to be a bit looser and a bit thicker you can use the medium barrel and then use bigger sections of hair this is just how i found really works for me personally so again wrapping that section up like so sometimes you can like lose a little bit i just kind of guide those little short bits of the underneath of my hair and then just holding it to the root as close as I can get it. And then blasting that cold air as well. And then letting go, making sure I just hold it in place. And I'm just gonna let it drop slightly, spray that hairspray. And then I'm gonna just quickly roll it under so it's going to hold that shape when i've done the whole of my hair honestly i have so much hair <laughs> like so much so i'm just like pinning that as close as i can so by the time that i've gone to the underneath i was finding when i first started using this that those curls were dropped completely by the time i'd got to that top layer so i just find pinning is just 
really helpful in like the cooling down process and allowing them to hold as well so with short hair i mean any of you watching with short hair you will know that those little underneath bits are the most challenging and i think when you're coming to the back of your hair with the dyson that can always be something that i found quite difficult at first but just the smaller the sections when you're doing this underneath bit and doing this back bit is just the key to kind of making sure that you get every single piece of hair so i just try and go as small as possible and then start and then putting in the styling spray and going again i think getting as close as you can to the root of your head is honestly just a game changer for me when i was using this it's the closest you can get the better and if you're finding it too hot then i just turn it down one to the medium section i always find that that's still warm enough to hold that curl as well so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the rest of this side of the hair and then I'm going to show you this side and doing the alternate way because you're not going to be able to see a hell of a lot going on doing the back of my head. So now moving on to this section of the hair, I'm going to change the barrel to the one moving away from my face this way so that the curls then alternate and curl away from my face. So I've just curled that back bit and like I did all the way round from this side i've just done these ones this way and clipped them in place so they cool down in the curl that i like so just getting like small sections again i just think that might be a little bit too big but like that size there and then just clipping this out of the way at the moment because finding this is like the easiest way to do it just to make sure i don't pick up any other bits and then using that styling spray making sure that's on the ends of the hair i find that having the styling spray on those ends and then just turning it on and then just catching the curl and spraying that like that and all pinned in place and then going on to the next small section So now that that underneath section is complete, I'm just sectioning the hair into those two sections like I just did. And I'm gonna start with the front section here and get little sections like that. With the front section of my hair, I like to play on doing it as close to the root as I can and also lifting it up so that I get that volume around the front of my face as well. So. And then for that front bit, I just make, like to make sure that I've pinned it with as much volume as possible because that really creates that kind of lifted, blow drying wave in a really nice way around the face. So I'm just going to continue with this side in the exact same way. So just onto the last little bit of section here, I'm just going to make sure that I go as close to my scalp as I can to really get that hold and lift around the front of my face. And I'm just going to unpin this section because I've run out of clips. <laughs> and then with my hairspray, I'm just going to go around the whole of my head. So now that is all complete, I'm just going to unpin all the clips from underneath first, seeing as they've been there for a little while. So I think that is all the clips out. I hope so. I'm trying to fill them, but I can't. But as you can see, it's a very, very tight curl right now, and I look a little bit crazy with this hair look, but this is literally the best outcome for the finished result before brushing through it and styling it. I have found that you can create that really nice loose curl with the air wrap, but then it can drop throughout the day. Whereas when it's got this hold from the start, just then going through it with a hairbrush, which I'm gonna do now and style it, you're gonna see such a difference and it lasts so much longer. So let me go and get my hairbrush and I will show you. So I find the best brush to then go in with is like a soft bristly brush and I just use a wet brush. I think it's called a shine enhancer. And I'm just gonna go through the curls with the brush first. Then I just kind of use my hands to style 
the curls how I like. I like to also just like mix up my parting a little bit with this bit just to get as much volume around the front as I can. And then just dragging through with my hands just to create more of that loose curl. So I think it's really all about this like end styling process, just not being afraid to like brush through the curls and really just style and shape them how you like. And these are gonna drop throughout the day, which I will show you in this video, like the outcome by the end of the day when I've been out to the beach and that kind of thing and on my walks. But to finish off, I'm just gonna use the Frizzies John Frieda Finishing Cream. And I just use like a pea size amount of this and rub it in between my hands and just do like all those flyaways that I may have, all those like baby hairs. And this just really like adds that shine to the hair but also gets rid of those little flyaway sections as well so that just gets rid of any flyaways and bits like that one of the things I absolutely love about the air wrap is my hair feels just so soft and silky afterwards and it feels very lightweight and I find that you get that like salon finish with a blow dry because you I don't know if you guys feel the same but whenever I come out of a blow dry I'll have my hair wash and my hair will feel like light on my head for days after and this just has that same effect it just feels like you've come out of the salon and it just feels really lightweight and soft and bouncy and you still have that shine to it as well so what I'll do is I will come back on in a few hours once I've had my whole day like this. I feel very glam for a Saturday in lockdown, but I'm just gonna go for some beachy walks this afternoon for sunset and that kind of thing. So we'll see how the wind is in Brighton and how my hair holds up in those circumstances. But this will drop and then obviously you can brush through as much as you like. I like to leave it with quite a lot of volume like this. I find that then tomorrow it's like the dream as well and it seems to last those two days, which I absolutely love. I also just remembered that I did ask on my Instagram a few questions regarding hair and the air wrap or any questions about me in particular. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly answer those now so that they're answered in this video. And obviously if you've got this far, then you can always finish the video now if you feel like you've watched enough about the air wrap. But I've had a lot of questions to do with hair and the air wrap. So I thought I would answer them here. So it says, can you use it with wet hair? So like I said at the start, having your hair wet and then dried to around 70% is the best way to use it. I think that's what's recommended as well on the Dyson website and how they do it and show it on there. But you obviously have the hair dryer or the brush attachment. So that makes it super easy to get dry and feel silky soft still at like the 70% dry point. And then how to make the curls stay all day. So like I said, just using that setting spray before, using the clips to hold the curl to really cool down in that process, and then using a really strong fixed hairspray the free go-to things that without them, I find that my curls don't last and don't work in the same way whatsoever with the air wrap. And then do I have any extensions or tapes in? No, I don't. Just my natural hair, which I'm very grateful that my grandma passed down the genetics of having very, very thick hair. So I'm lucky to have a lot of it. Um, but how does it hold in comparison to normal curlers? So, I mean, hopefully by the time I show you in a minute at the, well, in the next clip, the end of this video of me having them in all day, you'll hopefully be able to see kind of how it holds the curl. But I find that doing that three step process of like setting spray, clips and hairspray really are the main things that allow the curls to hold. Give this really nice blow dried curl effect to these. And then I'd say with curlers, you get more of that like beachy messy wave effect. I've got so many videos over on my Instagram on IGTV with my GHD curlers. So if you are interested in seeing like how they look with my hair, then I'll leave those videos down below as well. So you can kind of compare the two of like this curl and also my like beachy wave ghd curl tutorial so you can kind of see but this one just adds so much more volume i find that you get a lot more volume it feels softer it looks more shiny it looks more like natural and like you've just been to the salon which i just think gives it more that like effortless but like glam effect which i just love and i can't get with any other curlers so that's what I'd say with that. Is it worth the money? I had that question about 25 times and I think it really depends on you and what you would like to achieve with your hairstyles and that kind of thing. I think when lockdown's over, you can go into Boots and I think you can go and try out the Air App in store. I recommend doing that when lockdown's over and you're able to go and try it out and get someone in store to also show you how to use it because I think it really depends on your hair type, but 
I think it's incredible personally and an investment. It's amazing. The hair dries amazing. When I'm doing like a sleek straight look, it also just feels very like glam and really easy to use. And with the air wrap in particular, although it's taken me such a long time to get to grips with it, like a few months, I finally feel like I've got to a point where I know how to style my hair the way I want with it. So I think it's about like trial and error and having a practice with it. But I definitely think it's an investment that I personally would really recommend and I've recommended to loved ones. I think it's just an incredible product and really amazing because I can create like bouncy blow dry looks at home. So yeah, I personally think it is worth the money but it has taken me a lot of practice and I at one point was like, I don't know if it is worth the money when I wasn't able to create the curls. And then I just did a lot of research into what would work with creating and keeping that hold of curls and doing that process, like I said, just really helped create that like bouncy blow dry look, just how I like it. So I will say now, I do think it's worth every single penny. It's, yeah, it's amazing, but it took me like three, four months to get the hang of it. And that's with like practicing twice a week. So now that I've got that, I'm hoping that if any of you did invest in getting it in the future, that after watching this you can perhaps use some of the steps if you're finding the curls drop that then means you won't have to take three four months to learn how to use it and you can just like get the clips and the styling spray and really thick hold hairspray and then hopefully that will mean it's a shorter process of kind of knowing how it works with your hair as well. I will also say and I will leave down below Kirsty, one of my best friends she uses it on her long hair and oh my god on long hair as well it's just a dream like her curls look absolutely stunning love her hair with it as well so I think long and short hair it works both really really nice in a really nice way um what products do you use to keep the curls like I said someone just said hairspray doesn't work for me um but like I said that styling spray at the start and then having them pinned as they're cooling down game changer um what makes it better than any other product I would just say that it's like giving you that salon blow dry look after using it which is a game changer for me and I can't get that with any other styling tool so that's what I'd say with this but that was pretty much the gist of a lot of questions and a lot asking about what products I use on my hair but hopefully in this video you've kind of seen what products I use and everything will be linked down below but I will be back very very soon at the end of my day to show you all how the curls have lasted and I actually prefer them when they've dropped a little bit more so I'm excited to share and jump back on in a couple of hours but I'll see you all soon. So lovelies, it is now like 9pm, I've had a full day with my hair, as you can see it's pretty much flat, it rained on my hair and I wore a hat <laughs> for half the day, so this isn't really a good representation of it at all, but before it rained at like 4pm, actually maybe 3.30 because the sun was just setting, I took a little selfie so you can kind of see the way it held and looked during the day, so <laughs> hopefully that's a better representation, but still in the rain and with a hat on, I don't think it's that bad it's actually quite nice and it just feels really soft and bouncy still and it's just more of like a really dropped out wave which will last me over the weekend as well which is really nice too but yeah sorry that the ending of this is not the best representation at all if you follow me over on instagram when i do more like air wrap days when i've washed my hair i will do like the throughout the day kind of process and leave a little highlight over there as well so you can kind of see that a bit clearer if you are interested in kind of looking more into it but i'm going to leave some of my favorite air wrap videos down below as well because there's loads of different girls loads of different hairstyles that have done amazing reviews and tutorials and their honest opinion and that kind of thing as well so i'll leave a few of them down below as well but thank you all for watching i hope you're all doing well and having a lovely weekend whatever you're up to i am sending lots of love to each and every single one of you and thank you again for coming over here and supporting me on my youtube channel it means a lot and i'll see you in the next video lots of love guys Mwah. bye